Okay. My name is Arshad and you people which don't know, she is MN and she worked with me in 2006, uh, 2016 uh, in White Wings. And that was a nice time. Eman, and Eman, can you tell me your journey so we can learn from you? So you are a motivation for the girls, especially in QA field. So yeah. I think, Anji, okay. Yeah, so basically I worked with Arshad in White Pings in 2016. And after that, I came to Dubai. I worked there in two companies and uh, my experience in Dubai has been very good so far. So it's an innovative company. Most of the companies, they are using the latest technologies and also it's a good experience that you get to a chance to work with multicultural people. Okay. So I have a couple of questions which I will ask you. Uh, let me share the screen. Okay. okay. So... As you know, can you share, uh, can you see the screen? Yes, I can see your screen. So we want to hear from you. So most of the time I will be silent. I will listen your experiences, your thoughts about. So uh, and now you are in quality assurance automation lead at Golden Sand. Mm, okay. And your experience is your journey. Can you tell me how you landed the uh, job in Dubai and what is experience, especially for those who, who have pain uh, to move to Dubai? Okay, so the first thing I notice is uh, that uh, in Dubai, if you want to land a job, you, it's very difficult to land a job if you are applying from outside the Dubai, let's say from Pakistan, India or any other country. So they give preference to the candidate who are already in the country. So they can call to them to the offices for the interview. That's the first thing. Also, if you are an immediate joiner, there are some opportunities which give you preference because a lot of job opportunities come where they need immediate joiners. For myself, so my, my first job, it took me almost one and a half month to land a job and that I got through the networking, basically reference. So when I came here, I started networking with different people, asking if they're... So different. you came there on visit visa? No, I got married and I came here. Uh, married. Okay, your husband was in Dubai. Yes, my husband was in Dubai. So I came here on a resident visa and then I started looking for a job. Okay, okay. Your journey was different because most of the people uh, used to say that we should uh, move... Uh, do, uh, work from work from Dubai. We should land as a on visit visa, so we can yes. get job. Yes. So if my journey was different, but if uh, you are not married or you are planning for a job search, then I would suggest that you come here on a visit visa. You will get a lot of opportunities which uh, are only available if you are in Dubai. The second thing is what I noticed during my job experience is you get the job either through networking or you get a job through recruiter. So getting the first job in Dubai is relatively difficult because sometimes they prefer candidates who have previous job experience in Dubai also. Yes, good. But those are the most two common and easiest ways. So basically I noticed that almost 60, 70% of jobs are not listed in the portals. And even now, sometimes I get messages from the recruiters for different job opportunities. But if you Google or you just check the job size, so those jobs are not there. Okay. So I think for outsiders who are living in Pakistan, so first they should come on visit visa, should stay one or two months, should have at least two to three years experience in, in their field, especially in quality insurance field. So they can get the job. Yes, so for those people who want to uh, get a job in Dubai, the, the experience is also very important. It's very difficult to get a job in Dubai if you are a fresher or you have less experience, like six months to one year, because the work culture is very competitive. So they expect you to come and perform on the same day. And for learning also, you should be self-learning. So the competition is high. So if you want to come here, come on a visit visa, and then you can uh, start looking for a job. 
also before coming here you should do some homework like search about different job search uh, websites there is indeed gulf talent nokri gulf you can uh, even linkedin you can see what kind of jobs are listed there what kind of uh, tools they are uh, asking in those job description so those kind of homework you can do before coming to dubai okay as you told me that their uh, network is very important for getting the job so those people who who are in qa should contact the qa people who are working there in dubai so they can help them yes so you can try like this also like you can search about different software companies what are the qa people working there so you can contact them like if they have any job opportunity in uh, their organization so they can at least refer for interview this you can also do also sometimes there are some networking events which happens like recently one networking event happened at haspi which is a software house in dubai so if someone is there they can also go and network there with other people so it's mean those who are planning to move to dubai on visit visa they should also join their conferences especially in qa conferences Yes, yes. Software engineering conferences. They should attend yes, they those. Yes, they should join. They should join and they should start networking and talking to people. Okay, good point. So, uh, some of the software houses. Can you tell me their names? Okay, so there are a a couple of software houses there. There are some big companies. Uh, which uh, have a lot of domains like Landmark Group is a big company which has Supply Center Point under them. Then there is Altair Group. It's also a very big company. A lot of my friends are working there, so they also have uh, different uh, software houses under that group. Like Unas is there, part of uh, them, and uh, a lot of startups are also there. So. Uh, in dubai every sometime a lot of startups get launched and they are looking uh, for uh, some new resources care kafu is also a new company which is growing very much here okay so uh, when we compare uh, actually major you know the pakistan situation country is in worse condition so people are moving because they are pay, paid low so what is the pay difference major pay difference for example in one person who is earning there in 4 to 5 lakh and what will be the um pay scale in dubai for him here okay so as far as pay is concerned first we need to understand this thing that the living expenses will be different in pakistan and dubai so dubai is an expensive country if you consider other expenses like house rent grocery travel costs so it's a lot as compared to uh, pakistan so if you consider just in terms of number that uh, okay in pakistan if someone is get, getting 1 lakh and if someone is getting 4 lakhs in dubai let's say so you should consider that, that if pakistan the expenses are 70000 in dubai the your expenses will be around 2 or 2 and a half lakh so the expenses difference will be there if you are uh, living there also it matters if you are living with family but even if you are uh, living alone the expenses difference will be there as far as pay is concerned so for your first job uh, what i notice is it will be relatively low because it's your first job so here they also consider dubai experience and if you have previous dubai experience then for second one you get a good pay but for the first job you can expect around like if uh, you are uh, in automation field so you can expect around like 8 to 10000 depending on company if it is to 10000 mean in pakistan rupees 10 how many lakh i think it will be around 5 to 6 lakh 5 to 6 lakh for 10 years experience yes but if you are starting here for the first okay. job One those who have experience 9 to 10 to 15 years experience i, I think they will be paid uh, at 10 lakh so basically in dubai there is one thing that if you are coming here so this it your previous experience also matters 
if you have previous dubai experience so let's say you get a salary of 10000 and you worked in a company for one or one and a half year and then you apply for another job so next job you can get a better pay maybe 12000 ad around 14000 because you have now a previous dubai experience but for the first job it will be like this hmm okay so it's tough decision to make yeah okay and next uh, yeah, as you are in qa field so should you better know how many job opportunities are there so when you see the job opportunities related to qa field because there is so much competition uh, most of people are coming from india which is large country and uh, asian country uh, middle east uh, even european european countries people are coming there so there is so much competition so uh, what you think that how many opportunities for qas are available and what are their demanding skills what skilled qa people should improve so they can get better job opportunities okay so for qa field job opportunity there are couple of opportunities and i noticed that for mid level qa engineers the job opportunities are more which range into 4 to 7 8 years of experience so a lot of jobs came with qa engineer for senior qa engineer as you grow with your uh, job title like you become a lead or manager they get relatively low i think the maybe the same in pakistan as well but there are opportunities so there are good number of opportunities and uh, there is some season for job for example november and december that's not a good season for job then uh, there is ramazan time so that's also not a good season for job because people go on vacations or the day timing change to half day but other than that uh, the job opportunities are there mean uh, season mean in january to april may this this season there are so much job opportunities yes so the uh, mean people who are planning to move to dubai on visit visa they should uh, plan uh, their trip for march for re march to july august yes so basically you should not plan to uh, make a visit at the time of december because a lot of people go on vacation especially because it's christmas time here so many people go on vacation Now here in dubai there is a culture that you get annual leaves and most of the people utilize their annual leave so they go back to their country and a lot of companies have this policy that their annual leaves finish by end of the year so people utilize those leaves and go on leaves on december then also for ramazan time whatever is the month it can be may or it can be april but that time also because the working hours get less so that time also a lot of hiring don't happen okay so you should avoid these two time yes so my experience is when i got my second job so that time i got at the time of december okay but when i did my interview then i gave my assessment test and there was an assignment which they gave me and after that i didn't heard from that job for 2 3 weeks and uh, then later the recruiter contacted me and he told me that the cto actually he went for vacation and now after 3 weeks he came back so this kind of situation can happen a delay can happen so if you are on a visit visa it will matter more because your days will be passed okay sure so most important question is uh, for qa especially related to qa people what skill they should improve so they can better shine okay so for qa people now uh, there is a lot of demand for automation it's very hard to get job here if you don't have automation skills or uh, if you don't have automation skills you may get a job but a salary will be very low around 4 to 5k and uh, that will be also be for junior role so there are uh, in the, the in demand skills are the you should have very strong grip on one programming language at least one it can be java python or any other language because the, when interview time they give you one coding test and that coding test won't be related to qa the first coding test will be related to programming fundamentals it will be some java some algorithmic questions so you should have strong grip on one programming language data structure algorithm your sql should be good uh then you should have some qa related tools related to web or mobile automation where most common are selenium apm 
which are widely used for API automation. Rest assured is widely used. Also, you should know one CI CD platform like Genic Games or any other platform. But even if you are good in QA tools, even if you are bad in programming, you will not clear the first round. I mean, if you are technically sound, so I cannot understand your answer. Yes. So what I'm saying is you need to be technically strong. Yes. For getting the job. For getting the job. The first part will be programming interview. So if you fail to do this, then you will not go to next round. Okay. Sure. Uh, so good. So I think I have got the question. So anything you want to say, especially uh, for girls, uh, because you are motivation for girls, because you are working there, you know, though in our culture, it is very difficult to go outside, outside the country and work there. So your special thoughts about this. Yes, so my special thoughts about this is you need to be very hardworking, dedicated and competitive. Uh, the work culture is a bit different in Pakistan as compared to Dubai. So in Dubai, it's very competitive uh, and uh, very much high expectations are there and a lot of competition is there because people from India, European countries, other countries are coming there. So for the same position, different people will be competing. So the competition will increase. So you need to keep preparing yourself. You should always be learning new things, keep applying those things and keep applying for job and stay positive. Sure. So for girls, it is safe country so they can move or stay there, work there. So there is no issue. Yes. Yeah, so basically for girls, Dubai is very safe country. You mm. can, it's very independent and very safe country. They can move easily, independently, even they can live independently. I have known there are a lot of girls who are working with me. They are from India, from European countries, and a lot of them are living alone. They're not living with their families. So Dubai is very, has very open culture and very safe culture. So as we used to heard about the West, because the West is safe for girls. So I think we can compare with the West as compared yes, to- Yes, I think Dubai is more safe than for girls. For example, I am a Muslim. So uh, there are prayer rooms. I can take the prayer break. I can go there. Also, people have much tolerance for Muslims. If you are fasting, people respect that. So it's very good. And if you have to go out sometime, the country laws are very strict. There are cameras in every taxi. No one can harass you. So it's very safe country. So, I'm living here with my family, but I, I think if even some girl want to live here alone, they can live alone. Yes, because we are from Pakistan, so, so our most of our parents have this concern that this they may be not safe, so on. So your thoughts about this? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and anything you want to say? Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Okay, it was a nice uh, discussion with you and uh, hopefully see you again. And uh, okay. Okay, thanks uh, for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye.